I just finished my break-in service on this bike. I did an oil change, filter change, polished it, did some ceramic coating on it, and I thought it would be a good time to do a long-term review, let you guys know what I think about this bike in the long term that I've had it. Now, you might be saying, if you just got through break-in period, and if you watch my channel, you'll see that I haven't had the bike very long. In fact, it's a 2023 model. You might think that's kind of hard to do a long-term review, but if you do follow my channel and you go way back, you'll see that I've been through a bunch of bikes in the past year and a half, and this one is the longest term that I have kept a bike so far. I'm going to do an overview of some of the things I've done to the bike. I've done this in other videos before, but I thought I'd update you on everything that I have going on right now. The windscreen was bought off of Ally Express, and I wrapped it in vivid hex tint. So that looks pretty good. I get a lot of questions about that. People say they like my windscreen. I do have a link in the description below. And then the hex tint is from Vivid, and I just wrapped the windscreen in that. I think it gives it a really cool look. Another item I got off of Ally Express are these side grips right here. They are carbon fiber, but they don't really match exactly like the bike over here. But they look pretty good to keep my legs from scratching the gloss plastic right there. Here's a big one a lot of people ask about, the KO Lightning Slip-On Exhaust. I think it sounds really good. It was easy to install, decent quality. Until we get a name brand exhaust manufacturer to produce something different for this bike, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, but I do think it sounds pretty good. I'm happy with the quality, get a lot of compliments on it. From the factory, there was a blue stripe right along here, but I did take that off because I don't really like the way that they put it on. I do wanna replace it someday in the future, but I'm not sure with what. I need to try to match the CF Moto blue color, and I haven't been able to do that yet on a wrap or a vinyl sticker that I can put on. Uh, so I just kind of took it off. I think it looks okay. I also removed the wheel tape around the wheels and I installed my own. So I got that on the front right there. I put a different seat on. This is actually for the CF Moto 450 SR, which I believe is pretty much the same bike, just sold in a different country. And that seat is more comfortable. It also doesn't show the wrinkles. I like the looks of it, super soft, really nice. I mount my phone with the quad lock so I can have navigation and all my music right at my fingertips. I mounted that on with a center fork mount. That seems to work really well. My tank pad I got from Revzilla. It's a Puig. Check out the dash. I just did my first oil change at 639 miles. So I was within the break-in period. So I absolutely love this bike. I haven't had any problems with it. It rides nice, it handles nice, it looks amazing get a lot of compliments on it check out some of my other videos where i've done group rides i've done solo rides i've taken it all over the place i've had no issues with it i think it's great quality i mean you can't help but love the front end on it so there's just a quick overview of my 2023 cf moto 450 ss now that it is through the break-in period it has fresh oil fresh oil filter and it is ready to roll